A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. And from the netherworld where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you, a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours or from your side to ours. He said, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat mga parishioners ng Santa Maria Goretti, our online and in-person parishioners. Nandito po tayo sa Basilica of the Annunciation. At tayo po ay nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon na tayo ay nakarating dito. Kasama po ang inyong mga intensyon sa aming mga panalangin. At dito, pagninilaya natin ang ikalabing-anim na salita. Word number 16. We have chosen the word scraps. Scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Ang lugar na ito ay ang lugar kung saan nagpahayag ang anghel sa isang payak na dalaga na si Maria. Sa mga dukha, sa mga maralita, nagpapahayag ang Diyos ng kanyang mabuting balita. Katulad ni Lazaro sa ating Ibanghelyo, pinipili ng Diyos ang mga dukha upang itaas sila, bigyan ng pag-asa. Tayong mga mananampalataya ng mga Kristiyano, Huwag tayo maingit sa kapwa natin na marami o nakakaalwal sa buhay sabagat tayo rin ay pinagpala. The angel Gabriel announced to Mary, Hail, full of grace, siya'y puno ng biyaya. Walang wala si Maria, sila'y dukha, wala silang kapangyarihan, walang pangalan. Ngunit pinili siya ng Diyos na maging ina ng kanyang anak. The Lord favors the lowly, the Lord loves the scraps. Even if our lives are insignificant, the Lord will fill us with His grace. Mama Mary is the prime example of the abundance of God's love for the poor and the lowly. Word number 16, scraps. While on the way to the Basilica of Nazareth, may nakasalubong po akong isang namamalimos dito sa labas ng simbahan. And Nazareth, of course, is... Um, Palestinian territory kaya napakarami din pong mga mahihirap dito mga walang trabaho at sa harap ng simbahan ng Basilica of Nazareth of the Annunciation may isang nakaupo, nakahandusay na mama na punong-puno ng sugat din ang kanyang mga paa at pinapakita niya ito sa mga dumadaan sa kanya bigla akong napaisip dahil Ito yung ebanghelyo na pinagninilayan natin sa araw na ito. They are the scraps of society and they are just excluded from the ordinary life of the community. Nakita ko si Lazaro sa kanya sa aking paglalakad papasok ng Basilica. Nakita ko sa kanya ang sitwasyon din ng ating mga street dwellers sa ating parokya. Maaring sabihin natin na ang mga dukha ay may kasalanan din sa kalagayan nila. Ngunit sa ating ebanghelyong pinagninilayan, si Lazaro ay laging nasa ating palikid. 
at madalas tayo ang mga tao na hindi pumapansin sa kanila. In our visit here in the Basilica of the Annunciation, the Lord favored the lowly. A poor girl, an anawim from Nazareth, became the recipient of the good news that she would be the mother of the Messiah. The Lord favors the poor. Kaya ito rin ang hamon sa atin sa panahong ito ng kwaresma na tayo ay hindi lang mag-abuloy sa mga nagugutom o nangangailangan. Kung hindi ang puso natin ay tunay na magbukas sa pagbibigay, paghahandog sa ating kapwa. In spite of our poverty and simplicity, the Lord will overflow His abundance in our life. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mama Mary, intercede for us, for our families. This is the Cave of the Annunciation to our parishioners of Santa Maria Goretti. We are praying for all of you here in the place of the Annunciation. And the Word was made flesh. Verbum caro hic factum est. The angel Gabriel was sent to a young girl from Nazareth. Beneath the altar is the inscription Verbum Caro Hic Factum Est. Verbum Caro Hic Factum Est means here. The Word was made flesh. Here in this place, the Word became flesh. An awesome mystery to behold. God becoming man. Through this humble girl from Nazareth, through her yes, the word became flesh. The word became flesh. God became man. There are no words that can explain this tremendous mystery of the Incarnation. God, according to the Fathers of the Church, simplified Himself, abbreviated Himself. The Almighty, the All-Powerful, has become limited, powerless become simple 
the word has become flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Mm -hmm. 